Hey there, what is going on guys? Kirby here. Today I have 5 features that were mentioned by Mojang developers, but they have never actually been added to the game, or they have yet to be added to the game. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Slabs are a wonderful feature in Minecraft. They make building a lot easier, and you can use them to add some nice detail to your builds. But what about dirt slabs? We've seen slabs for many different blocks, but we've never seen them for dirt blocks. Well, actually we have. Before stone slabs were added, Notch actually had a test full of dirt slabs. In the test, the dirt slabs, or half-sized blocks as he called them, replaced all of the dirt blocks. <laughs> so every single dirt block was replaced with a dirt half block, or what we would call a slab today. The dirt slabs made the world look all crazy, with, the, with dirt underneath the grass being slabs. It made the sides of the hills look pretty weird. And after these dirt blocks, these dirt half blocks, we have seen slabs, but we've never actually seen dirt slabs in the official version of Minecraft. In April of 2013, Dernerbone had a question on Twitter for the community. The question was to see how people felt about a potential addition to Minecraft that would allow us to actually be able to die wooden planks. He later followed this tweet up by saying that the response from the community was 30% please no, 80% yes please, and he, then he said yes, that's 100%. I don't even know. <laughs> well, this idea was later scrapped for the addition of hardened clay that could be dyed. Dinnerbone decided to abandon the idea of dyed planks because they would require slabs and stairs of all the colors too. So we have received the features of being able to dye clay, glass, and wool. We have received multiple colors of wood since this, yet the idea of dyed wood lives on. It's an interesting idea, but I still feel indifferent about it. I don't know if I would actually like having stained wood in vanilla Minecraft or not. I don't know. I'm indifferent about it. <laughs> Lanterns were a block that could be crafted and were originally planned to be added into the Halloween update, which was a big update on Halloween in 2010. The plan for lanterns were that they would be a permanent source of light. Torches would eventually flicker out and you would need to relight them by a flint and steel. Notch said that when the update occurred, the lanterns would use the same block ID as torches, so all the torches would turn into lanterns, and from what I assume, torches would get a new block ID. In January of 2011, Notch said that the lanterns were postponed, and later in the month, he actually said that he wasn't sure when they would be implemented. Later on, in November of 2011, Notch announced at Minecon that lanterns weren't going to be added into Minecraft due to the negative community response. Instead, we've received redstone lamps and glowstone. Now, for me, personally, I wouldn't have been opposed to those lanterns, but I would have hated having torches flicker out. I would have just liked to have lanterns as another light source, but either way, lanterns have never been added into Minecraft. Lecterns were a project that Dinnerbone once had. If you don't know what a lectern is, it is a stand that you can put a book on or something to read from. Somebody will stand behind it and they can read while standing up. Uh, you see lecterns in churches and such a lot. In my college classrooms, they actually have lecterns that the professor can use. The lectern in Minecraft was meant to be a stand for written books, so you could read them easily. While creating it, Dinnerbone ran into some issues and ended up scrapping the idea. He did mention, though, that he may pick up working on the lectern in the future. In December of 2013, Dinnerbone did say that he had revisited the lectern. 
but something about them just didn't feel right. This is another feature that I'm kind of indifferent about. I'm not sure if the lectern would necessarily feel like vanilla Minecraft to me, but everything in updates does eventually grow on people, so you know, who knows. Finally, the sky dimension was a dimension that was planned in Minecraft, and it was going to kind of be like the opposite of the nether. So since the nether is kind of like a hell, the sky dimension would kind of have been like a heaven. The sky dimension was first announced when Notch tweeted a picture of the dimension, though it was never completely confirmed to become a feature in Minecraft. Well, that was until Notch tweeted out this tweet, saying, And, because PC Gamer made such a big deal about of the sky dimension, I guess I will have to finish it, consider it confirmed. The Sky Dimension was originally planned for the Adventure Update, which was partly released in September of 2011 and fully released in November of 2011. The ideas for the Sky Dimension were later changed to the End Dimension, though there was once again a small bit of hope when Notch said that the Skylands Dimension was probably in the making but Jeb later struck that down by saying the Sky Dimension wasn't planned and it was unlikely to be done. So what else can I say? Personally, aside from the look, I like the end and it feels right for Minecraft. The Sky Dimension is a very interesting concept though and I would have loved to see what it would have been like. That's gonna do it for this one guys, those were 5 features that were mentioned by Mojang developers. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, it lets me know if you guys are enjoying these types of videos. If you have any suggestions for future videos or want to see something, please let me know in the comments. If you want to say something about these features, let me know about them in the comments as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here, see ya.